What's up, y'all? We made it to Hapeville, Georgia, and we're about to show you the first ever Chick-fil-A restaurant, also known as the Dwarf House. We learned a lot about Chick-fil-A here in Georgia, a lot about why it's so special, how it began, the little house, the original. Look how old it is. The original logo with the C on it. The Dwarf House. Oh, you can go in. Get out. You don't even have the duck to go in. Established in 1946. Open all night. And they got a drive through Boom. This is it. Look at this place. It's amazing. It's the first one. And it's got stained glass windows. And a garden. 1991. This lamp post reflects the Shining Light Award in honor of S. Truett Cathy, native Georgian founder of Chick-fil-A. His positive influence in life and business inspires our citizens and blesses our community. Let's go in. I'm hungry. For some reason, I thought the Dwarf House was going to be very small in size, but this restaurant is actually quite large. It just has a tiny little door entrance. But just in case you are a little bit bigger than a dwarf, they also have regular sized doors too. Lucky you. Anybody can come. Come. Come in, little one. It's the Dwarf House. <laughs> Recently renovated, this is what the Dwarf House originally looked like, still with the Chick-fil-A logo. It was only open six days a week, never on Sunday. All right, y'all, we made it to the Dwarf House, and they have certain things on their menu that you can't get at any other Chick-fil-A, including pie, steak, fried okra. It's like a waffle house. They got waffles here. Sweet potato souffle. It's got a little chicken on it. Carrot and raisin salad. And they got regular fries here. Better version of what we thought was already really darn good. Atlanta, I knew I liked you. Are you guys ready to order? Yes. Yeah. I'm gonna get the burger and then the steak. We'll get that with the sweet potato souffle and then you have street fries, we'll do those. Also, we wanna try that uh, hot brown. Oh, and then can we have a waffle? So before we went to the Chick-fil-A, we went to the headquarters where we learned so much about the history, where we got to see Chick-fil-A merchandise, the history of Chick-fil-A, that was cool. Of course, the famous Dwarf House door, and of course, the original executive desk that the Chick-fil-A guy has, with Julia sitting next to a cow that says, eat more chicken. The entire tour is just full of proverbs. They gave us our own Dwarf Grill menu that we can take home as a souvenir. And look at the grill. That hard man working behind the grill, very similar to the restaurant that we are at today. In 1982, the year I was born, the chicken nugget was invented. Get this, it was invented before the McNugget. 1986, chicken biscuit was born. 1987, the kid meal, waffle fries. One of the oldest items is the ice dream. 1946, the year my mom was born. And then way back in the day, the chicken salad sandwich. 1957. Today, the chicken salad still exists on your menu. And then, of course, a bunch of cars that he owned. Well, we're just going to really show you the Batmobile from Batman Returns because that's pretty freaking cool. And that was our tour at the headquarters behind the scenes. And here we are. It's all full circle at the actual Chick-fil-A restaurant. Ooh, here it comes. Thank you so much. Wow. Oh, my mama. Look at them. And even the plating. Start with the most important thing first, steak, and the fact that they actually took the hamburger bun and toasted it like a side of bread. All right, we're going in for it. Mmm, it's good. Look at that. This is beyond incredible. I've never heard of anything like this in my life. Oh, this is so good. It's like sauce, gravy, chicken, cheese, bacon. I'm gonna go to the dwarf house just to get this. My goodness, this is incredible. I almost don't have any manners because I'm just so hungry. And you were saying that this was really good. Mm. Someone said I need to eat sweet potato pie while well, I was in Atlanta. But you know what? Sweet potatoes is pretty close. Sweet potato souffle. That's what this is. This is really good. Oh, look at that cheesy goodness on there. Mm. Wow. That's really good, too. Is there any way I get some Chick-fil-A sauce? Tastes like butter. And I didn't even have to ask for more than one. Hi. Oh, are you one of the Truets? Sure. Oh, my goodness. You are? What? The food is outstanding. Customer service is outstanding because you're here. I am. This is the best place in the world to work, but every Chick-fil-A is good. You got a great meal there. You can't fool the general public. You can't do that. No. They know what they're doing. Yeah, my, I, I'm just a customer. I've been eating here for years and years and years. Well, thank you so much, sir. If y'all decide to come, out of everything that I had here, the hot brown's where it's at. Just come here, get the hot brown, get street fries if you're sick of waffle ones. 
Julia likes the burger. The steak was cooked phenomenally. Don't fill up. We got so many more Chick-fil-A things to do before we're done with this video. Look at that portion size to a fries. I'm like, oh my God, we're gonna get some of this waffle. Yum, it's like an ego. Julia keeps eating, but we gotta go to another Chick-fil-A. We hear there's ones that serve fish tacos. Yes, I guess it's a luau and it's Hawaiian themed. I gotta go there. I need to get my fish filet. Uh -huh, I'm really confused. Is this a Chick-fil-A? Oh my Lord. Uh, I thought it was a Hawaiian restaurant. And we do have Hawaiian elements to the restaurant. Well, I'll be, um, you know what? I think I might just park my car and come inside. Come on in, sir. All right, thank you. Now you gotta wait in the Chick-fil-A line. Oh no! <laughs> Hawaiian dining in Georgia. <laughs> Guess what? All the memorabilia in here was handpicked by Mr. Truett himself. Wow. Even that turtle on the wall? He's done everything. He's really lived the American dream, hasn't he? And he likes Connect Four. Life size. Enough. Let's go look at the menu. So we just made it to the Hawaiian restaurant. What? This is the owner, Truett Cathy's last restaurant. He was 91 years old, built in 2013, and sadly, eight months later, he passed. But he did get to leave this legacy, along with the famous waterfall that you see out front. Man, this is like a hidden Chick-fil-A. Like, if you ain't from around here, you'd be like, I'm confused. They got a freaking map. This place must be big. Could I do the uh, strawberry bubble lemonade? The pineapple macadamia nut milkshake. He's gonna get a local moco. I need to know how Hawaiian it is. We're gonna do the calamari. Fish tacos. Both side of pineapple fried rice and sweet potato fries. Waffle fries. Lava rocks. I'm pretty sure if we get anything else, then we're crazy. Oh, and you're, you're jostling them around in such a satisfying movement. I can't get my eyes off of them. Drink that, yum. This is amazing. The strawberry filled balls pop and mix in with the lemonade flavor. It's just weird to have like weird filmy sacks in my mouth. Other than that, it's delightful. It's like the upgraded strawberry Arnold Palmer. That's awesome. Wow, that's a mouthful. Macadamia nut pineapple shake. Oh my goodness. This is really good. Oh wow. I might just make something like this at home. This is where it's at. Good choice, Julia. They need this at every Chick-fil-A. I've never thought to put nuts in a milkshake before. Maybe on top. Not within. Oh my yeah. goodness. Oh my goodness. We are at a Chick-fil-A and they have calamari. Ooh, deep fried goodness. I think so. I will eat that. Mmm, this calamari is so good. It like melts in my mouth. I'll take a little bit of that dip. Got like a sweet chili on the outside. It's fantastic. The lava rocks, it's chicken, bacon, cream cheese, green onions, blue cheese, and sriracha served with a sweet and spicy dip. Mmm, crunchy. Actually tastes super fresh. My goodness, I like it so much. Everything just pairs well. They already know how to bread chicken really well. Why wouldn't they be able to bread everything and anything else very well? These calamaris, spot on. It's really quite good. Mmm, well, we got more food? We got a lot more. What's coming out right now? Oh, that looks gorgeous. Oh. We still got waffle fries, but sweet potato. What? Sweet potato waffle fries? Why can't they have that at every Chick-fil-A? La'a Makana grilled mahi-mahi tacos. So it's got their coleslaw on the inside with some mahi-mahi and some sauce. It's really tasty, like the sauce on there, the coleslaw is good. Pineapple fried rice, damn. That's good. Yes to the rice, no to the mice. Loco moco. And I gotta say that one yolk popping out is almost kind of like a wardrobe malfunction. Look at that. I'm popping them both. X marks the spot. Let's dig in. If you eat too many of these, you will be driven crazy. Got two eggs, got the rice under there, burger, gravy. Wow, and that burger looks interesting. Is that a cheeseburger or a sausage? There's only one way to find out. Sausage. I prefer this over the tacos. Wow, no, that's a burger. And it's got a pineapple on it, and it's got the same grill marks as a sausage. So I'm beginning to think that that ain't a burger, that's sausage. So we have to compare this to the Dwarf House. I like the Dwarf House burger better. This one is just like a much bigger, thicker patty. Not 100% my thing. Maybe because it's lacking sauce. Taco ukulele, 
Mama made a baby. I'm gonna grab the mahe mahe, which we could have chose chicken, but come on. We could get chicken at a Chick-fil-A back home. There is a spicy note in there that I do adore. I adore, oh, so much. And the slaw is just so refreshing. So when we were in Hawaii, I would get lokomoku everywhere I went. Why? Because this is exactly the type of meal that the pea family eats for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And that is white country pepper gravy, eggs that are running all over the place. And the only way that JP will eat rice is when it's smothered in such components. Hawaii, watch out. I'm coming back Hawaii. I honestly didn't get this to wonder what it tastes like. I got this just because I wanted to eat it. Loco Moco Burger. Yeah. This is our last stop. Welcome to Chewitt's Grill Chick-fil-A. It's like an old cable car. They got the self-serve and they've got the full serve. What about the half serve? <laughs> I think you're freaking that guy out. Wow. Did you see it? The little train that goes around this whole thing? Everyone's so happy here. The adults, the kids, the grandparents. This place is for all the family fun. Look at, they even have merch. And they almost got like the blue menu, like the original. Ooh, let's see, let's open it up. This menu's very similar to the one at the other place. They got the hot brown, they got chicken waffles. Look at, they just put their Chick-fil-A sandwich right on top of the waffle, that's yeah. smart. What, chicken and Minnie's breakfast. Probably like the hot brown. I feel like I just want a Chick-fil-A sandwich after all this. Here you go, ma'am, I got two Chick-fil-A spicy chicken sandwiches, peach pie, waffle fries, some Chick-fil-A sauce. Ooh, hot and fresh waffle fry. So we're ending the video with us eating Chick-fil-A, because at the end of the day, that's what we really like. Oh, yeah. A video about Chick-fil-A wouldn't be complete without eating a Chick-fil-A sandwich. It tastes better to be here in the railroad train that was put here by Truett Cathy himself, but it's always consistent and the same. Thank you, Chick-fil-A. It's our first time here at this location. They said we were gonna give you a pie. For free. And I've never had pie here before. Look at that, it looks like an empanada. Let's see how it looks. Oh. oh. Ooh, it's hot, it's real good. <laughs> Nothing better than a Georgia peach pie. Mmm. Every single time I feel like I'm full, I eat some more Chick-fil-A sauce and I feel hungry again. Brings me back to my childhood. Like this kid's childhood. He looks so happy. You know what the best part about the sandwich is, Jules? It was free. To yeah, because steal. of our headquarter visit, but we did pay $10 for the ticket for that. Oh, my God. Mm -mm -mm. I would have loved this as a kid because I hated all the toppings. Look at this, Jules. My name's JB. I always knew that your name wasn't JP. There it is, guys. The truth's out. My name's John Balls. JP, thank you for bringing me on this amazing trip. My pleasure. All right, Jules, let's go back to the luau so we can do an outro. This whole journey is full circle from us going to the headquarters, traveling to the original, and now seeing the last and final restaurant built by Truett himself before he passed away. This is a great homage to the Chick-fil-A family and everything that you guys represent. And I'm just happy to see such a variety of food and flavor that you all have to offer here in Georgia. Which restaurant are we gonna discover the history of next? Well, you're gonna have to subscribe and hit the bell icon and you'll be notified when we do. I'm tired, I eat too much. Get up.